Hello there, do you want to know how to make these cute designs in Design Space? Once you know how to create these, you'll be able to make lots of your own designs. The first part of the video, Making the Reindeer, is quite slow paced and very beginner friendly for anyone who hasn't done any design work on the canvas before. Um, whereas the second part of the video, Making the Teddy Bear, is a bit faster paced and assumes you have some working knowledge of the editing tools in canvas. So the first thing we need to do is to measure our chocolate so we know the size hole that we're going to need. As always we need to start off in our computer and you're going to want to start a new project in Design Space. Now we need to go to the panel on the left and into Shapes. If you click on a circle it'll add it to your canvas and then you'll need to go back in and click on a heart to add that to your canvas. Next we're going to resize our shapes to match the measurements of our chocolates. You can do this two ways. You can use the corner of the bounding box, any corner, and drag it inwards. If I know the exact size I want, I find it easier to use the size boxes on the top panel. To keep the proportions of the shape, you need to keep the padlock above the size boxes closed and just change the width or the height to match the measurement of your chocolate. So I need to resize my circle to one inch to match the Lindor chocolate and I need to resize the heart to one and a quarter inches. We can set these aside for the moment and now we need to go to the left panel again into images to find a suitable image. If you go to the left side you can see some filters so I'm going to click on free and see what's available in the free images. This would be a very simple image to modify but let's have a look and see what's available in the Cricut Access images. You're looking for an image that has a space in it that you could put a hole into. This looks like a good image to work with. Okay, now we need to look for our second image. I found a free teddy bear image that I thought would work well. So let's move Teddy aside for now and we'll work on the reindeer first. So the first thing to do is to bring over our hole shape. So this will be the circle for the Lindor chocolate and place it over the image um, to check for sizing. And we can see it's pretty small in comparison to the reindeer. So we're going to need to resize our reindeer. I find it easiest to click on the top right corner of the boundary box and drag it inwards um, until it's about the sort of size that I would like it to be. Um, in terms of proportion of chocolate to image and overall size. Once you're happy with the size of the reindeer, you'll need to move the circle aside so that we can work our bit on the reindeer. Okay, so you need to click on your reindeer and then you need to go up to the top of the right panel and click on the ungroup icon. Now you need to click away from your image somewhere in the middle of your canvas. And then you can go back to your image and you can move the pieces around to see um, how it looks. You can also see in the right panel the different layers um, that are involved in this image. If you click on one of those layers in the right panel, um, it will select that layer on the canvas. And when an image is selected on the canvas, you'll see it highlighted in green in the right panel. So now what we want to do is get rid of the nose because we're going to replace that with the circle in a moment. Now we want to select the eyes and the face and we can do this by clicking beside the face and then dragging the mouse across the eyes and the face and that will select them both. And now we want to go down to the bottom of the right panel and click on combine and then select subtract. This has made our eye holes. Now we want to click on our circle and bring it back over to the reindeer's face and positioning it where you want it to go. Like me, you may need to go back up to arrange and bring it to the front again. I use the align tool in the top panel a lot and I'm going to use it now to centre the nose horizontally on the reindeer's face. Now you'll need to select the nose and the face and once again go back down to the combine tool at the bottom of the right panel and click on subtract. And that makes the hole for the chocolate. Now we want to bring the antlers down so that they overlap slightly with the top of the head. And select the antlers and the head again and go up to a line and centre horizontally. Now while they're both still selected, go down to the bottom of the right panel to combine and this time select Unite. So we can delete the nose. 
Next we're going to make the ring that goes on the top of the head that will turn it into a hanging ornament. So you need to go to shapes and take a circle out and then we're going to need to resize the circle. So we'll need to go up to the size boxes, leaving the padlock locked and change the width to 0.5 and then go across to offset which is also in the top panel and change the measurement in the box to minus 0.125 and then click apply and now highlight both circles and go down to the combine tool and choose subtract and that makes our ring now we need to take our ring and overlap it slightly on the top of the head and again use the align tool to center it horizontally and now select the ring and the head and go back down to combine and select unite. Now we just have a few more steps left until we've finished our reindeer holder. The next step is to duplicate this reindeer head. So you can click on it and you can either click Control or Command D on your keyboard or you can go to the top of the right panel and click on the duplicate icon. Move your duplicate to the side and then go up to the flip tool in the top panel and flip vertically. Then place it underneath the other head, select them both, go up to align and choose center horizontally. Now we need to take a square from shape. This next bit is a bit tricky to explain, um, but I'll do my best. Now we need to resize the square into a rectangle. So go to the top panel and unclick the padlock and then put one in the width box and 0.5 in the height box. Now move your reindeer across to the side and up to the top. So it's in the top corner of your canvas. Um, if you looked at the X, Y position boxes, they should be set at zero, zero. And now move your bottom reindeer across um, and place the rectangle in between. And you're going to need to overlap the rectangle with the top head and the bottom head with the rectangle so that it's all nice and even. It can help to zoom out um, a bit so that you get a clearer view. Um, and once you're happy with the positioning, select all three, align center, and then go back down to combine and select unite. I hope you were able to follow that okay. Um, so one more thing to do and that is to add score lines and then we're done with this one. But before we go any further I do recommend saving your project um, because it's really frustrating if something happens and you end up losing it. It has happened to me before and um, I wasted so much time. So yeah save your project um, and then we'll move on to the score lines. So bring your reindeer into the center of your canvas and um, you'll find it helpful to zoom in uh, so that you can see where to place your score lines better. We need to go back into shapes now, select the first one which is the line and when that's on your canvas go up to the top panel and in the rotate box put in 90. This will rotate our line into a horizontal position. Then you need to go across to the size boxes and with the padlock locked, change the height to one. And now you can duplicate that line so that you've got two score lines. And you need to position one where the bottom of the top head meets the rectangle. And the second one will need to go at the bottom of the rectangle where it meets the bottom head. And finally, all you need to do now is to select the score lines with the reindeer and go down to the bottom of the right panel and click on attach. There is one more thing that I recommend doing and that is to duplicate this project. While your duplicated reindeer is still selected on the canvas, look across to the right panel and you'll see it's been highlighted there in green. Um, at the top it says attach and next to attach on the right there's an eye. If you click on the eye this will hide your project on, from the canvas but it's still there and you'll be able to go back and find it again. Now go back to your other reindeer and select it and then go down to the bottom of the right panel and click on detach. Now click on the top score line and holding your arrow key down on your keyboard click on the second score line and then go 
down. Oh, you might want to um, align them first to make sure you haven't moved them while you've been clicking them. So while they're both still selected, go up to align and choose align center horizontally. Um, and then go down to the bottom of the right panel and click attach. Now those two are, are attached together, which makes it easier to put them back in place. Move them aside and now select your reindeer again. Oops, um, sorry. <laughs> and go back to the combine tool and select merge. So this is now merging the layers of this reindeer. Now you can bring your score lines back into place um, and you'll need to click on the reindeer and go up to arrange and send that to the back so that you can see your score lines. Um, you might want to zoom in again so that you can position them accurately. And now select the score lines and the reindeer and go back down and attach them again. Now you might want to label your reindeer that you left unmerged. Um, so you can go and find it in the panel on the right um, and there'll be the eye with it will be faded out and there'll be a crossed out eye on it. Um, if you double click on the top where it says attach, double click on that and you can pop in a title. OK, so let's move on to our Valentine's bear. First thing to do is to duplicate our teddy and then we're going to the flip tool in the top panel and we're going to flip it horizontally and then place the duplicate on top of the original and go up to align and align center. And now we're going to go down to combine and choose weld. Okay, so now we're going to create a heart shaped hole. Now Teddy already has a hole in his tummy, so we're going to create a heart shaped outline to weld onto his tummy. And we're going to do it as we did before with the ring with the reindeer. So if you select heart and then go up to offset, and in offset of the two corner options, select square, although it doesn't really matter if you um, select the rounded one. And then in the measurement box, put in 0.115 and then click apply. Now you want to select both hearts and go down to the combine tool and select subtract. It's helpful to change the color now. So I'm going to change it to red. This is so that when we want to weld it to the teddy, we can see its position better. And I'm just checking to see whether I need to bring it to the front, but I don't. Now we can place the heart over the teddy's tummy and highlight the, the heart and the teddy and align center horizontally and then go down to combine and click unite. I haven't welded these pieces together yet, just in case um, when I cut it, it needs some tweaking. After doing a test cut, I will weld it together. I wanted my Valentine's Teddy to stand rather than hang. So I'm going to give him a flat base. So I'm going to need a square from shapes and I'm going to resize it into a rectangle that's wider than Ted and about half an inch deep. And I'm going to place that over his feet and then go down to combine and subtract. And as we did with the reindeer, we're going to duplicate Ted now and then go up to flip and flip vertically. Now I'm going to move my two pieces across to the left side of the canvas and set them about three quarters of an inch apart. And I'm going to get another square from shapes and make that into a rectangle. I'm going to resize it to um, a height of 0.75 inches. Then move it across to the bear um, and drag it across um, to I've got an approximate size and then I'll round the size up to um, 2.545 inches and uh, put the height back to 0.75 inches again. Now you need to position your bears so that they overlap the rectangle um, by about a sixteenth of an inch. So long as it's equal on both sides, it doesn't really matter. Although the wider the base you have um, at the bottom, the better the bear will stand. When you're happy with the positioning, select all three pieces and go down to combine and hit unite. I'm just going to change the color of the bear to a lighter color so I can see the positioning of the score lines better. 
Now we need to go back to shapes and take out um, a line and rotate it 90 degrees and resize it to 2.545 inches long. Now we need to position the score line on the bottom of the top bear where it meets the rectangle and then we can duplicate it and place the score line at the bottom of the rectangle. And I'm just going to select both lines and attach them. It just makes it easier if I need to reposition them at any point. And finally, we need to select the score lines and the bear and attach them. There we have it, that's our bear. So let's do a test cut of both designs. Oh, and don't forget to do another save of your project now that you've changed it. Let's bring back our reindeer to the canvas. Um, we can do that by finding it in the panel on the right and then we can click make it. So here are the cut pieces and I'm just putting together the reindeer and popping the chocolate in place. And that works really well. So that doesn't need any tweaking um, and that's good to go. So let's have a look at the bear. So we need to glue his ears together and let's pop the chocolate in. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, we need to go back to the drawing board and do some tweaking there. Okay, back in design space, the first thing we need to do is to detach the score lines. Okay, so my idea is to get rid of the hole at the back of the bear so that I can use double-sided tape to um, attach the chocolate to the bear's back and we'll still be able to see the chocolate through the hole on the front. So to get rid of the hole, we're going to need to merge all the layers so that we can use the contour tool. So in contour, we're going to click on the heart on the bottom upside down bear and that will get rid of that hole. Because I want to cut this bear out of a thicker cardstock, I'm going to duplicate the set of score lines a couple of times and then lay them on top of each other, go up to a line and center. And then I'm going to attach them to each other and then I'm going to move them into position and attach them to the bear. Okay, so here's the bear cut out again, this time on some really gorgeous glitter card, which I got from Sizzix. Okay, let's fold him up and um, use some double-sided tape for the chocolate, glue his ears, and yeah, he looks lovely. He's so cute. I love him to bits. I really like this glitter card. Anyway, there we go. We've got a teddy and uh, a reindeer. Now you know how you can do your own designs um, and I look forward to hearing how you get on. Please do let me know in the comments and, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye for now.